Hi everyone, glad to see you again. Today we have something informative lined up for you. If you like my video, don't forget to share and subscribe and for more tech insights. Stay safe online, cyber defense. Welcome to the rabbit hole. You think you want to be a hacker? You think this is some game? Let me tell you, it's a labyrinth of code, firewalls, and secrets that most people wouldn't even know exist. We're not here to sugarcoat it. This isn't your mama's online forum. You want to be a ghost, a whisper in the system? Then buckle up because we're about to take you on a trip. These are the 10 things they don't teach you in school. The 10 keys to unlocking the kingdom. You want to talk to machines to bend them to your will? Then you need to learn their language. Forget English, forget Spanish, forget everything you thought you knew about communication. This is about Python, JavaScript, C++. These are the tools you'll use to craft your weapons, to build your own backdoors. Think of it like this. Every system, every network is a fortress. Code is the key that unlocks the gates. Don't let the jargon scare you. It's all just logic, algorithms, instructions. You start small, learn the syntax, the grammar of these languages. Then you start to see the patterns, the vulnerabilities. This is about power, the power to manipulate the very fabric of the digital world. You think the internet is just websites and cat videos? Think again. It's a vast, interconnected web of networks, all talking to each other, exchanging information at the speed of light. You want to be a hacker? You need to understand how this world works. TCP, IP, DNS, HTTP. These aren't just acronyms, they're the rules of the road. They dictate how data flows, how devices communicate. Master these concepts, and you'll be able to trace the path of a single packet of information across continents. You'll see the vulnerabilities, the weak points in the chain. You'll know how to sniff out data, how to reroute traffic, how to make yourself invisible. This is about more than just connecting to Wi-Fi. It's about knowing how to navigate this digital labyrinth blindfolded. Forget your fancy user interfaces, your colorful icons. In the world of hacking, Linux is king. It's the operating system built by hackers for hackers. It's open source, which means you can see the code, understand how it works, modify it to your liking. Don't be intimidated by the command line, the lack of hand-holding. That's where the real power lies. With a few keystrokes, you can do things that would take a dozen clicks in other operating systems. Linux is about efficiency, about control. It gives you direct access to the heart of your machine, no layers of abstraction. This is about freedom, the freedom to explore, to experiment, to break things without fear of consequence. And trust me, you're going to break things. That's how you learn. The Art of Secrets Unlocking the Power of Cryptography In a world of data breaches and mass surveillance, privacy is paramount. Cryptography is the shield that protects your data, the lock on your digital door. But it's also the key to unlocking the secrets of others. Encryption, decryption, hashing, these are the tools of the trade. You'll learn about different algorithms, from the simple Caesar cipher to the complex world of public key cryptography. You'll understand how to create secure channels of communication, how to hide your data in plain sight. But cryptography is a double-edged sword. The same techniques used to protect information can be used to break it. This is about understanding the delicate balance between security and accessibility. Exploiting the cracks web vulnerabilities exposed. The web is built on a foundation of code, and like any foundation, it's full of cracks. These cracks are what we call vulnerabilities, and they're the entry points for hackers. SQL injection, cross-site scripting, cross-site request forgery. These are just a few of the many ways to exploit a website. You'll learn how to think like an attacker, to see the web through their eyes. You'll scan websites for vulnerabilities, test their defenses, and learn how to bypass security measures. This isn't about breaking things for the sake of breaking them. It's about understanding how these vulnerabilities work, how they can be exploited, and most importantly, how to fix them. Ethical hacking is about making the web a safer place, one vulnerability at a time. The web is constantly evolving, and so are the threats. The White Hat Path. Embrace ethical hacking. Think hacking is just about breaking into systems and stealing data. Think again. Ethical hacking is about using your skills for good, to find and fix vulnerabilities before the bad guys do. It's about being a digital guardian, 
protecting systems and data from those who would do harm. You'll learn about penetration testing, vulnerability assessments, and other methods used to assess the security of systems. You'll work with businesses and organizations to identify weaknesses in their defenses and help them improve their security posture. This isn't about being a hero. It's about doing the right thing. It's about using your knowledge and skills to make the digital world a safer place for everyone. And it's a growing field with high demand for skilled ethical hackers. Find your tribe, the power of hacking communities. You think you can do this alone? Think again. The hacking community is vast and diverse, full of people from all walks of life who share a passion for technology and security. These are your people, your tribe. Join online forums, attend conferences, participate in Capture the Flag competitions. Learn from the best, share your knowledge, and build relationships with other hackers. This is where you'll find mentors, collaborators, and even future employers. But be careful who you trust. Not everyone in the hacking community is ethical. There are black hats out there, criminals who use their skills for malicious purposes. The hacking community can be a powerful force for good, but it's up to you to use it wisely. Tools of the trade mastering hacking tools. A craftsman is only as good as his tools. The same is true for hackers. There are countless tools available to help you with everything from reconnaissance to exploitation to post-exploitation. Metasploit, Nmap, Wireshark. These are just a few of the essential tools you'll need to master. Each tool has its own strengths and weaknesses, and it's up to you to choose the right tool for the job. But be warned, these tools are powerful and can be dangerous in the wrong hands. Use them responsibly and always make sure you're operating within the bounds of the law. The never-ending update, staying ahead of the curve. The world of technology is constantly evolving and the world of hacking is no different. New vulnerabilities are discovered every day, new exploits are developed, and new threats emerge. To stay ahead of the curve, you need to be constantly learning and adapting. Follow security blogs, read industry publications, attend conferences, and participate in online forums. The more you know about the latest trends, the better equipped you'll be to protect yourself and your systems. This isn't a one-time thing, it's a lifelong commitment. The moment you stop learning is the moment you fall behind. The world of hacking is a never-ending game of cat and mouse. Proof of your prowess, the value of certifications. So you think you've got what it takes to be a hacker? Prove it. Certifications can help you validate your skills and knowledge to potential employers. They demonstrate your commitment to the field and your ability to meet industry standards. There are certifications for every level from beginner to expert. CHOSCP, CISP. These are just a few of the most respected certifications in the industry. Earning one of these certifications can open doors to new opportunities and advance your career. But be warned, these certifications are not easy to obtain. They require dedication, hard work, and a deep understanding of the subject matter. But the rewards are worth it. A certification is more than just a piece of paper. Outro, welcome to the revolution. So, you've had a glimpse behind the curtain, You've seen the tools, the techniques, the mindset. Now the question is, what are you going to do with this knowledge? Are you going to be a force for good, a protector of the innocent in this digital wasteland? Or will you be the agent of chaos, the one who exposes the hypocrisy, the corruption, the lies that hold this system together? The choice is yours. But remember, once you step into this world, there's no going back. You've seen the truth, and the truth is, there are no more secrets. Now go out there and make your mark on the world. Thanks for watching and learning with us. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. We value your feedback. Cyber Defense.